Now then, quick video for you today because I'm off to the airport, we're off to New York, then we're going to go over to Los Angeles, then Pasadena, I'm going to take you guys with me, but today we're off to a fish and chip shop in Mansfield called MasterChef, which is supposed to be excellent. Got to pack my case first with all this Mike Master merchandise. Now, anybody that thinks I'm wearing the same shirt each day, I'm not. I got my merch here, look, got the Let's Go one. I got the, uh, what else did I get? I got the Onwards one, there we go, in grey. Uh, I got a controversial one, look, there, in grey as well. Uh, I, got an, I got a Let's Go one in grey, another one. There we go, Let's Go. I, I got about 20 of these, <laughs> 20 of these, all in grey, because I like grey. They are in different colours. I got different hoodies, look, I got a... I got a new hoodie as well, look, there we go, in blue. I've also got the black one here as well, with the red on it as well, look, look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm like a walking merch store. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, case is all packed. Now I do that very, very carefully and strategically because it's a small case, so I roll all my shirts up, get them all lined up, etc. Same as my underwear, all rolled up, only small underwear anyway. Uh, socks all lined up, get everything in then. I only need to take seven pairs of stuff, going for 14 days. After the seven days, I'll just wash them all. That's how I do it. Anyway, we're off to Master Chef Fish and Chips. I'm a little bit dubious because I grew up in Mansfield in Nottinghamshire and fish and chip shops around here. Well, they're not the best. They're always, most of them are Greek owned, uh, which is nothing wrong with that, but they sort of like do kebabs as well and pizzas and any fish and chip shop that does anything other than fish and chips, then mm, I have my reservations about and I've been spoilt with Yorkshire, haven't I? Because Yorkshire fish and chips and Scottish fish and chips are always the best and nine times out of ten here uh, in Mansfield and in Nottinghamshire they leave the blooming skin on. Anyway come on let's get there. Right, well, I have been to this fish and chip shop many years ago. When I say many years ago, I mean many, many years ago, because uh, it's on a, in a place called Ladybrook Estate, and I used to live just up the road there with my mum and dad. And uh, I used to go there with my dad. It was called Chris's at the time, and then I think it was something else, Tony's after that. Uh, but now it's called Master Chef. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it because I hope it doesn't ruin my memories though of what they were like when I was with my mum and dad and I used to go there with my dad because we'd go down there on a Saturday and we'd pick up fish and chips. We'd have fish and chips every Saturday lunchtime. My mum would be working, making dresses and whatever and my dad would uh, nip down to the fish and chip shop with me and we'd go and get fish and chips and mushy peas. Never had um, curry sauce when I was younger. Never had curry sauce until I met Sarah and then it was like curry sauce, which is a tad odd, uh, so a lot of people say, but it's nice. I like a nice curry sauce with fish and chips. Some people like gravy. Now that is controversial, so uh, don't forget we're going to mark this out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on price and on looks uh, and obviously how I uh, take it. I mean, some people like skin on fish. I'm going to say there's going to be skin on this fish and it just, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like eating dead dead skin if you know what I mean. That probably sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Anyway, come on, onwards, I am weird. Right, here we are, Master Chef Fish Bar, Ladybrook Estate. Um, let's go and give it a go. Let's turn this milk float off. Come on.
Right, okay, first impressions, it looks really nice in here, I have to say. And I've been spotted, it's going to be unfair. They went, you're the guy off YouTube, it's getting more and more like that. Now then, I've got a question, well I've already asked them the question, I said, is there skin on the fish? And the haddock is skinless. So there we go, that's a good sign to start with. Now then, I normally big up Yorkshire fish and chips, however, I'm a Mansfield lad. I'm from up the road, Brickcomb Lane. Okay. My question to you is, and I'm going to turn the camera on you, on you in a minute, can you do Mansfield proud? Can he do Mansfield proud? It's an honest always, review. Oh, oh, always. Say that to camera one always. second. I always proud Mansfield. The there, best ever. There you go, that's it. That is what I like to hear. Right. This is a good sign. No skin on the fish. So, we'll go for haddock, which is no skin on the fish. We'll go for chips, one curry sauce, one mushy peas, and a tin of pop. Where's the tins of pop? What pop have you got? Any pop you like. Any pop you like. It's all in it. How about that's a look? Let's go to the fridge. Come on. <laughs> Oh no, I've just said, uh, the, the gentleman's from Cyprus and I said, oh, I used to come here when it was Chris's. Uh, and he said, oh, unfortunately, Chris passed away. Uh, when, when did he pass away? A few years ago, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, a few years ago. That's sad, that's sad. Although it was a long time ago when I came here. I'm super excited about this. It's a really clean place, really nice. And uh, but fancy getting spotted. Can't go anywhere these days. There we go, thank you. Awesome. See you later, bye bye. Right, here we go. I found a use for my electric car to put the fish and chips on the roof. There we go. I'll put a little thing on it though so it doesn't uh, get grease all over my uh, roof. But these look fantastic. Let's have a quick look. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what? These look really great. That fish looks absolutely fantastic. Wow, okay. Batter's crispy. Chips are good. It was getting quite busy in there as well, I have to say. Wow, okay. And then we've got mushy peas and curry sauce here as well. So we'll go for the mushy peas and curry sauce. There we go. Okay, mushy peas look good. Curry sauce, good consistency. Also gone for um, Chinese curry sauce, which is a bit more spicy. It's a bit windy, actually. Anyway, uh, before it blows away, take a closer look, my friends. Right, well, I've got to tell you, it's very, very unusual to have um, fish and chips in Mansfield that doesn't have skin on, I've got to say. See you later. See you later. Cheers. Cheers. The batter, really crispy. Wow, that is a crispy batter. Now then, under here, we've got all the chips. Plenty of chips under there. Have a look at the chips. Wow, loads of chips under there. Chips are great, no scrag ends. Now then, I was looking at what they were giving the other customers just to make sure that I wasn't getting any preferential treatment. And um, they were exactly the same as this. They were putting the fish in fresh for them. I'm gonna dig into this fish, wow. Okay, that, good grief, that is a crispy batter. Crikey, here we go. Look at that. 
There we go, let's bite into this. Use my fingers. Oh, wow. Mmm. Wow. I wanted to go in and not like it, to be honest, because Mansfield's never, never for me lived up to fish and chips. But these are, I have to say, they've done Mansfield proud. No skin either. Oh, fish is delicious, right. I'm gonna go in for the peas. Go for the peas first. This is gonna blow away here. Let's just stick that under there. Go for the peas first. Here we go. A little fluorescent. But very tasty. Mmm, actually they are <laughs> quite tasty. They're nice. Wow, okay. Right, let's go in for the curry sauce. Because the curry sauce... Um, we have to put that under there. It's very windy today. Nice weather, but very windy. Let's go for the curry sauce now, which is the Chinese curry sauce. And it has got, you can see the spices in it. I think this is going to be a bit spicy, but let's go for it. Here we go. Ha! Yeah, that's got some kick to it, that has. So what do you do for a living, McMaster? I uh, eat fish and chips off the top of my car roof on Ladybrook Estate. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, I can't fault this. I really wanted to find some fault with it. But, I can't find any fault with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Um, the only thing I'd say is it just needs to be less windy. Um, this is fantastic. So I'm going to eat the rest of these and then we'll mark them out of 10 because then I need to get to the airport. I tell you what though, wow. He's done Chris proud. He really has. I've got a bit of a tear, I've got a bit of a tear in my eye because, because I went there with my dad and I didn't want to. I didn't want it to ruin the memories that I had of the place, and it hasn't. It's, you've done Chris proud. You've done Chris proud. He's done you proud. He's done you proud. <laughs> Brilliant, honestly, fantastic. Thank you. Cheers. He's done Chris. Honestly, I'm getting a bit tearful. I'm going to eat the rest of these and then come back to you and we'll mark it out of ten. I was really worried because I didn't want it to ruin my memories so and it hasn't fantastic right so i'll eat these and we'll come back to you and we'll mark it out of 10 fantastic mansfield Right, let's get down to business. So, lots of people think that I am sponsored when I go to these places. Um, and I can tell you, I'm not sponsored and I'm not paid by these places to review them. Um, I take them by surprise. Uh, I'd never give them any warning particularly. Sometimes I'll drop them a message on Facebook, but nine times out of 10, you never get a message back from them anyway. I like to just literally sneak up on them, sneak up on them and take them by surprise. Unfortunately though, they recognize me from the YouTube channel. Um, however, let's get down to business. They wouldn't charge me for these fish and chips. Um, I did try and pay them. They wouldn't charge me. Um, so I think, uh, it's only fair. My mum passed away from dementia. I'm just going to slip 20 pound over, uh, to the dementia research, which I give to anyway. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a great cause. Um, you all right? They were brilliant. Yeah, they were great. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to pass that on to Dementia research, research, put my teeth back in. Um, they were fantastic, I have to say. I enjoyed them and I didn't want to like them because I wanted to um, big up Yorkshire, but he's done Mansfield proud, he's done Chris proud and he's really knocked it out of the ballpark, to be honest. So if anything, 
if I was picking at nits and nitpicking I'd probably say the peas were a tad too green for me but that sounds a bit childish doesn't it um, because they tasted great so I'm going to give them a 10 uh, because they were fantastic it's clean in there spotlessly clean um, they were cooking the fish to order um, I didn't get it on camera but after I'd been in there was quite busy in there because it is lunchtime uh, so they must have their own regulars if there's anybody from round here who goes to it let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below master chef fish bar I've got to tell you he is a master chef at, at, uh, at his batter and his fish because they were fantastic and it's kind of proven me wrong in a way because I've always said when a fish and chip shop also does burgers and kebabs and things like that then it's normally not as good at fish and chips but that's a, an exception to the rule so there you go master chef fish and chips in Mansfield 10 Boosh. there we go right I better get to the airport because I've booked a hotel uh, with a runway view and I want to try and record it and film it so uh, anyway if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button click that little bell for notifications when I upload new videos hope you like this very quick video before I go to the airport and I'll see you guys in the next one I've got salt and vinegar all over my car <laughs> and bits of fish down in here oh well see ya Yes, I am not slow.